All right, hey guys, uh, Scout Football Scoop. Uh, today we got Mike St. Germain, offensive grad assistant at uh, University of Virginia with us. How are you, bud? Good. 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 Hey, all right, start me off, open book. Tell me about Mike St. Germain. Who are you, where are you coming from? What, what do I need to know about you? Well, I'm here helping out with the offensive line and tight ends, uh, helping out with Coach Walkenheim and Coach Moore. Uh, been here for about two months. Uh, started about a couple weeks before spring practice. Before that, I was at Lafayette for about – a week and a half, uh, and before that, I was at Franklin and Marshall for three years. Uh, I coached the defensive line at Franklin and Marshall. Uh, we, had, we each had our own recruiting area. I was promoted to full time my third year there, and it was a uh, it was a great experience. It was something that you got to experience on the coaching side of it, in terms of having your own position group, running everything, scheming teams up week to week. And then once the season was over, you switch over to recruiting mode, and for about two and a half months, you know, you're recruiting and you know, we're on the road for about 15 to 20 days more or less. And it was a great experience. You know, coach Troxel was the head coach there and he was a guy who was the running backs coach at Lafayette where I played college football. And it was a, uh, you know, just an easy connection, I guess, so to speak there. And Craig Sutyak, our defense coordinator, Kevin Bauman, who's our offensive line coach, one of the other full-time guys, they, they kind of just helped me get, acclimated to the whole atmosphere having you know played a little bit of arena two football and coaching high school football for two years after i graduated from college uh, so i was there for three years it was great uh, got to experience everything that goes on with the football program from cutting up the video and running around setting up the cameras to all the way to the coaching part of it so you really got an idea of what goes into it the day to day and uh, it's funny how much as a player you take for granted you kind of walk off the field just in the next thing you know the tape pops up there on the <laughs> on the screen you don't really think anything of it but uh a lot more resources a lot the, yeah a lot of right. resources at a d1 acc program huh yeah yeah so uh you know that, that's something you truly appreciate but um and i got an opportunity to go back to lafayette and uh at that point in time there's a chance that i was going to be able to come down here as well and Coach Devani knew that, and he said if the opportunity arose, take it, and it did, and I was lucky enough to get a chance to come down here, so I've been very lucky in terms of that. You know, I've spoken with a lot of guys over um, you know, the past month or so, and we talked about differences in coaching in you know, the Pac-12 or you know, kind of a mid-major program or Division II versus a grad assistant type job. Uh, I think there's tremendous value in kind of going the route you did. You, know, you did a little bit of high school ball. You... Uh, you know, you coached a D three for three years, and, that, and that's incredible experience. I think um, it, it sets you up great. You know, do a grad assistant here, and then uh, you know, the future is wide open. You go anywhere you want. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, this is obviously at you know the level everybody wants to be at, and to be a Division one assistant coach is obviously a, a good goal to have. You know, and I, I, I'm just lucky to put myself in this situation and learn a lot. You know. I was lucky enough as a Division three coach to go around to camps in the summer and kind of be able to pick the brains of some of the coaches that are at those colleges that you, you go and watch kids at. And it's, it's a good way to meet people, and it's a good way to obviously recruit kids that you're going to end up recruiting as well as, uh, you know, obviously get some of the technique stuff down. And I have not played defensive line in college. That was something that was extremely helpful for me. So in college, you're an offensive line, right? Yes, sir. And then you coached D-line for three years um, at Franklin Marshall, right? Yeah. And then uh, now you're back with, working with O-line and tight ends. Tight ends is a new wrinkle, huh? Yep. I, I get a chance to work with Coach Moore, Coach Laser, uh, into the passing game, you know, and just getting an idea about that. And it, when I first got here, head was spinning a little bit in terms of all that passing stuff, and I was able to, you know, feel pretty good about it by the end of the spring practice. So. That's something that I've got to just continue to work on, and then helping out with Coach Walkenheim with all the blocking stuff, and it's some it's new stuff that's really good, and look forward to helping out as much as I can. That's good stuff. So you got there literally what had it been just weeks before spring ball started? Yep, that's yep. tough, huh? To get on the field and coach them up with that little knowledge about you know your your program. Yeah, I mean it was. Some of the techniques, I mean, like you said, football's football, so the same techniques that were used at Lafayette or Franklin Marshall are very similar to what's being used here, and, you know, you just want to make sure that the guys are doing the small things correct, and 
spring ball is obviously a time when you need guys to just kind of get better at core group of things that you want to be good, the fundamentals, the basics. So in that sense, it was, it was a good transition. Tell me about, uh, you know, kind of perspective on coaching and, and this doing this as a career. You know, why do you do this? Why do you have a passion for it? You know, where does it come from? Uh, it, it's a great game. It teaches you a lot about yourself and about life. And uh, I think the chance to constantly get better every day and not only get better but also to learn something new because I, I can tell you this much, I'll never know everything about it. So it's uh, – it really is neat in that respect, and it's something that is exciting, and you know, it's something I really enjoy. So I'm very excited to be doing what I'm doing. That's great stuff, Mike. I uh, sincerely appreciate you finding a couple minutes to speak with us, and uh, look forward to you guys having a great season this year. Thanks, I appreciate it.